A full day of eating, eating for performance. Three fried eggs, bagel with some coffee, Greek yogurt, some nuts, some chicken, all mashed potatoes. In the packet. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name's Nate. For all you new around here, I know you all have seen my commercial gym videos, but I promise I'm just not a douchebag and I do other stuff too. Like I actually lift for competitively. Yeah, so today we're gonna be doing a full day of eating. It's gonna be a little bit different from like probably bodybuilding ones you see because I don't really track my macros. Just gonna be showing you guys what I do. I think for especially strength athletes and Olympic weightlifting. A lot of people are gonna go with like the chicken and rice and broccoli route, like, like a bodybuilder, but you're not a bodybuilder. You are a strength athlete. Tracking macros can be beneficial, but I think your diet is gonna need to look a lot different. So yeah, let's just start off with uh, breakfast. But first, before I always cook breakfast, I always chug at least a glass of water right when I wake up. Water's super important. So for breakfast, I kind of change it up a lot. I hate eggs. I have to kind of change up my eggs, but for right now, I've just been doing the fried eggs, like super fried, and then I could just eat them in one bite. So for this morning, we have three fried eggs for our protein with the yolks because fat is important for weightlifters. It's good for your joints, it's good for your hormones. And then for our carb source, I have a bagel, which is a good amount. It's like 50 grams of carbs with some cream cheese on there, red onion, capers, and then some smoked salmon lox. The smoked salmon lox is also very high in protein and has some good healthy fish oils. And then with breakfast, probably one of my favorite things of the day is our coffee. Now I use caffeine and kilos. This has been my favorite one, holiday fudge. Throw it in the French press, you can throw it in a coffee maker, throw it in this bad boy right here, and you make a good cup with a little bit of cream. The best part is caffeine and kilos has a higher caffeine content than normal coffee. So one cup will get you pretty cracked out. Um, they have a bunch of different flavors. And if you guys want to, you want to check them out, make sure to use my link in the description. I'll also have a link in the comment to so go ahead and get you 10% off your order. Then this is breakfast. So I'm going to eat this up real quick and then shower and start some schoolwork. And you got to think about eating for performance. What is going to make you perform well at training? It doesn't have, always have to be super clean. I think a lot of people get tripped up. They see a lot of other Olympic weightlifters who are super lean, super cut, and they're like, oh, I need to look like that too. But again, we need to take a step back and realize who we're looking up to. And a lot of these physiques are not attainable naturally. So you need to remember that too. A lot of foreign Olympic weightlifters are on performance enhancing drugs, so you can't get caught up in that. I'm still struggling with this as well. Almost done. Down in the hatch, boys. Let's go. All right, guys, it is about two hours later, and it is time for meal number two. It's not really a meal, it's just a snack. I like to have multiple meals throughout the day. I'm a person that struggles with eating enough, and I found that instead of three really big meals, five, six smaller meals tends to get the job done a little better. So for so said snack before a bigger meal at lunch, we're going to be having some Greek yogurt. I get these, well, I don't get them. My mom gets them. These uh, Oikos, triple zero, 15 grams of protein, zero fat, and 10 carbs, a nice little yogurt to keep the metabolism going. And then I like to have some nuts. I will have just about a handful of this mix of nuts. 17 fat in there, nine carbs, four protein. Killing our fats early in the day because I don't like to have a lot of fat before I train in the evening because fat is slow digesting. And I will see you guys back at lunch. Also, just finished this. So yeah, this year I've really been focusing on the basics. You know, good nutrition, being hydrated and good sleep because honestly, those are the most important things you can do. I think a lot of people tend to skip over them. I'm gonna eat this and then I gotta get back to coding my web design class, just a pain in the ass. Quick. 
Crunchy. All right, guys, we are back for lunch. Going to have a monster. Yes. As you can tell, we're gonna be eating some chicken. Honestly, I hate chicken. Mom has kind of been lacking with the grocery shopping. We're out of avocados and we're out of ground beef. A breast for you and a breast for me, my friend. 12.30 right now. I train around three, four-ish. So I like to have a big solid meal. I'm getting kind of hungry. I already had that, I had that yogurt like two hours ago with those nuts. And so metabolism's rolling. So yeah, we're gonna go cook some blackened chicken on the grill. We're going to have these homestyle mashed potatoes. These are so easy to make. Uh, you literally just boil water. My boy, Maddie P actually introduced them to me. Say so what's up, Maddie P. What's up guys? For our seasoning, honestly, do not care. We'll, we'll like with meals like this, especially because it's it's more like a. We're, I'm just eating for calories. Like I'm eating for a purpose. Just like I was taught by Rich Piana. That was an awful. <laughs> Damn it! Some country roast, famous Dave's chicken. Good amount on there. Rub it in. I'm gonna be honest. I've only turned this on once. Okay, yeah, that's a positive. Or my dad told me if I don't do this right, then it could blow up. Like, you know what? That doesn't sound good. I'm gonna call my dad. Is it's making like kind of a gargling noise? Is that okay? I turned everything off. Okay. Here, do you want to hear it? Is that okay? Um. As long as you feel heat coming out a bit, hot heat, really hot. Yeah, we're like okay. somewhat hot. Oh wait, like no, the left side's getting hot now. Okay, bye. He was in cinematic mode. Butter. Oh yeah, that's hot. That was actually a lot of butter. That was more than I thought. Throw our boys on, you know? What is this? Two cups of water. We could get a nice tan going, huh? Yep, we could. We could. Fuck it, let's just not even train. Let's just get a tan and get some dye going. <laughs> Amazing. I love these things. So easy to make. Great macros. Let's go, baby. Fuck, that's hot, bro. How did you eat that? Yeah, it's like 3.15. It is time for meal number four. I'm still feeling a little full from that big lunch, but I'm getting a little bit hungry, so I didn't want to go straight to the gym. So I have a small snack, banana, and a nice tuna packet. These are kind of OP. They're not the best tasting, honestly, but eat for purpose, just like Daddy Rich Piana taught us. Right, babe? And then in this water, I have a liquid IV because it is getting a little hot out here in Arizona, and I don't want to cramp at training because I'm a cramper. That's what happens. My muscles tense up. I moan. <laughs> we got a good workout today. Actually, I don't know it because I haven't seen my book yet. Assume it's going to be a good amount of workload and weights to lift. So I will see you guys at training. Ah! Going from 145, this is a PR. No, no head. <laughs>
it is 8.06 p.m. and I am starving after that long workout. Didn't look long, but it was long. You know, one of the benefits of living at home, I get a nice meal that's already ready when I get home. So I think that far outweighs the benefit of having the boys over whenever I want to play die. What we have, sauteed green beans with mushrooms, some rice, and then again, when now we're gonna have leftovers. So as you guys saw today, I don't have to grill tomorrow. Chicken, the final meal of the day, sometimes it's beef. Sometimes it's pork, sometimes it's Asian food, sometimes it's Italian, sometimes it's Mexican, whatever my pops is feeling because my dad is the chef around here, Chef Tom Tom. This is going to be the final meal. Virus, if you're watching this, please sponsor me. I love your guys' shirts. I know this is a martial arts shirt, but I still like it and I would like more. So if you're watching this, hit me up. Yeah, thank you all for watching. Just hope we gave you some insight. Again, I'm not a dietitian. I'm just showing you what I do. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. And if you're new around here, hit that sub button and I will see you guys in the next one. In the next video, we are going to go to Planet Fitness. So stay tuned for that. Goodbye.